but I guess the top one would be your analytical skills, um, which you kind of don't really realise that you're developing. But I think um, just how much critical reading you do, you kind of learn to, to sort of critique everything. And sometimes you'll be watching a film and you'll be like, oh my goodness, I can't help sort of analysing her and thinking about that dynamic. And I think that sometimes can be quite overwhelming, but also I think it's... Um, it shows that you're kind of engaging with the world critically and I think that's you know the, the main thing about going to university. Well I guess my second attribute would be my writing style um, and I don't know whether you really see that necessarily develop or it's just kind of the feedback you get from your professors and again with how much reading you're doing of other theorists you, you just sort of develop and your writing style gets a lot stronger. If you look back at your essays from first year you see just how you know, your academic language, you know, becomes better. With that, you know, the way you sort of articul articulate yourself verbally, um, I think that um, has definitely gotten stronger because you're in kind of small seminar groups, so you have the confidence to sort of speak up and say how you feel, and you're really encouraged to do that. And a lot of the time you're kind of marked on that, which kind of gives you the impetus to, to speak up, I suppose. My third attribute would be, um, my sort of wider world view because doing English you read so many different stories from around the world and you just sort of see you know people's people's um, differing perspectives and I think that just helps you kind of yeah open your eyes to different cultures and people. My favourite module, I think, has been Gender, Race and Empire, which is one I did in my first semester of third year. Through this module, I learnt um, the value of interpretation and, you know, reading a novel in a different way. So for one essay, I looked at Jane Eyre and read it in a sort of colonial lens, which is quite easy to do because obviously there's a lot of imperial references in it. But I think that really helped me with my dissertation, which is on Jane Austen and Empire, because it's really important to kind of put sort of a particular sort of theory cap on and, and look at a novel in a particular way. Going to a British school you see you know the world from you know England's perspective and I think um, it's really important to understand how the empire has affected you know other countries and people. We went on a trip to the Museum of London in the Docklands and um, there were just so many different kind of um, resources proving the point about abolition so like Wedge, Wedgwood China was really important in influencing middle-class families about um, the slave trade um, and I think you know your professors really kind of encourage you to think outside the box a little bit and and look at those kind of domestic um, objects and see how they've they can you know help expand a particular point of your essay mm -hmm.